Hey everybody, today we're gonna be trying out something new. I got this uh, menu number 12 breakfast skillet uh, cold weather MRE from, uh, from the US. So I'm really excited to give this a try. So we're gonna be cooking it up, tasting it, and giving you our thoughts. Stick around on this ration review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's ration review. All right guys, really excited to give this a try. So this is menu number 12. It's breakfast skillet from the Warwick Company out of Cincinnati. You can see it's a U.S. government property. Uh, what else we got here? Nothing on the back, and it does have the peelable seal. So uh, I just want to start out here while I'm opening this guy up by again saying thank you. Um, this came in the mail from a good friend of the channel, Brian. So I just want to say again, Brian, thank you so much for sending this up our way. Um, I just tried to do the peelable seal thing here, but it ripped on me. So I think I'll attack it here with the Swiss Army knife. Look at it all packed in there. All right, let's take a look and see what we got in here. Okay, so first of all, I can see we got the, looks like the accessory pack in its own little bag. We have the breakfast skillet with hash browns, Mountain House. And we have some patriotic sugar cookies. How cool is that? We have a chocolate protein drink powder. We have a big spork, or a spoon actually. We have a cheese spread. And another cheese spread. This is a dehydrated granola with milk and blueberries. And we have some tortillas. I am super excited to give this a try. Okay, let's take a look what's inside this little accessory pouch. We have a Bill's Brew Instant Coffee, a non-dairy coffee creamer, some hot sauce, we have a moist towelette, sugar, Toilet paper or Kleenex, I don't know, a napkin, we'll take a look at that. We have some matches, these ones are white tip. And a couple pieces of gum, some chiclets. All right, first things first, we're gonna get the granola ready. So this is the granola with milk and blueberries, 240 calories. Love these instructions, hey, hopefully it's in focus. Allow water just chemically purified to stand. 30 minutes before adding to granola cereal. That's funny. It says add two to four ounces of water or a scant one sixth of a canteen cup of water to the pouch, stir and consume within an hour. There's all the ingredients there and the nutritional information. We've got the fresh pack in there, which we've pulled out. That's what the cereal looks like. And uh, I'm going to start with two ounces of water. We'll see how that works. Put that in there. I'll stir it up a little bit. With my fingers and then maybe I'll let it sit for a couple minutes. Okay, this is the chocolate protein drink powder. It says uh, again, allow that chemically treated water to sit. Add a third of your canteen cup or about eight ounces of water to the fill line. Close zipper shake to mix for about 60 seconds. Consume promptly within an hour, single use only. 270 calories in there, you can see. All the nutritional information, if you care to read that. And then there's the ingredients. Smells really chocolatey. Put the water in. These pouches, I do like to give them a little. There's not a lot of room in there though for that move. I might just have to squeeze it. 
to give it a shake, and then we'll pour that in a cup, and we'll be right back. All right, we've been shaking that guy up for a little bit. Let's pour it off in there. It looks pretty rich. Next up, we're going to take a look at these tortillas. You get 220 calories in there per package. There's all the nutritional information. If you care to give that a read. I'll open that up. Wow, these tortillas are looking mighty fresh. You get two nice tortillas, so we'll put those right on that tray. All right, we'll get these patriotic sugar cookies. I am super excited to give these a try. 240 calories of patriotism. Pretty exciting stuff. And once again, there's the ingredients and all the nutritional info. They're broken up a little bit. We'll put them over here. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Some of them are broken, but I'll show you guys some of the shapes. I don't know if you guys can see that there or not, but you got an eagle with a little torch from the Statue of Liberty. Oh, cracked Liberty Bell. How cool is that? A lot of these other guys are broken. I see a star in here. Very cool. They seem to be like, almost look like animal crackers. Next up, we're gonna get this coffee going. So there's the package, Bill's Brew, instant coffee. There we go. Pretty cool. Breakfast skillet with hash brown, scrambled egg mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions. Might be harder to kind of read the ingredients on that guy, but it basically says add eight ounces of hot water. And the nutritional information there is kind of mucked up because it's uh, vacuum sealed so good. But might be able to see more of that here when I open it up. So let's give that a go. I'm just checking to see if this has a fresh pack. It doesn't say it has one, so I hope it doesn't have one. We'll see. Okay, so I took a look in there and I'm, I'm not seeing any fresh pack. Looks pretty good though, nice big chunks of potatoes. There's the nutritional information there now. 450 calories of goodness, wow. So, hopefully there's no fresh pack. This is a little less than eight ounces of water. Sometimes I found with Mountain House meals, if you put too much water, they get kind of soupy. So hopefully this isn't like that, but what I'll do is um, give it a stir. And then I will seal her up, wait a few minutes, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, the granola's been sitting for a few minutes. So I'm sure we're probably good. I'll try to put it over in this little pocket. Hopefully it'll fit good. Wow, look at that nice color. All right, this guy's been sitting here for about 10 minutes. Pour that into this section, hopefully. I wonder if I'll, maybe I'll move this just to be sure I have enough room. I don't know how much space it'll take up. Nice, look at that. Wow, there we go, there's everything laid out. I think we're all ready to start digging in. So let's, uh, let's get at it. All right guys, I know you're starving, so you might as well attack it. What do you guys want to try first? Uh, breakfast. Try some of the eggs, sure. Do you want your spoon here, buddy? Yes, please. Yes, please. Thoughts? It's good. I'm gonna take a little scoop here with Oops. some greenery and an egg. Maybe a sausage I can see there. There you guys go. Kind of mushy, but give it a try. Mmm. That's good. We're gonna put the hot sauce on the eggs, give that a try. Mix that all in there. Trying my first sip of the coffee. A little weaker than I would normally like, but um, not bad, probably could have used a little less water. Give some of the cereal a try. 
very cool purple color. Mmm, that's really good. You guys try that yet? Um, no. Absolutely delicious. It's good. Let's try a little star cracker here, cookie. Mm hmm. Pretty reasonable. I cut them in, in little bits here so we get a good tortilla to cheese ratio. Imagine you could totally um, put the. You could probably totally put the um, cheese and eggs on a tortilla, right? Need it like a, a wrap, but I'll give it a try just like this with some tortilla and cheese. I've wanted to try this stuff for like the longest time. Do you want to try some of that there, buddy? Sure. Let me put a scoop of egg on there if you want with it or just give her like that. Let's try this. Do you want to try some? Cheese and tortilla? Let's give that a little try. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm gonna divide out the chocolate shake here. One's kind of... There you go. The chocolate powder mix gets into like these... Like... Is there dry bits? Yeah. Yeah. Not shaking up enough? I like it. It's still good. What do you guys think? It's really good. Pretty good. What's your favorite part? Probably the tortilla with the cheese and the eggs. And mm -hmm. if not, the cookies. I like that the eggs. A lot of food in there. Um, everything was really good. The quality was great. The tortillas. This must have been a newer menu because the tortillas seem to last pretty well. The cereal is probably the best cereal I've had in one of these. Even compared to the ones that you get in the Canadian rations, the cookies were great. A little destroyed and crumbled, but cheese spread was on point. To me, this was a pretty rad meal. We'll probably get back to you here right now with uh, this week's DC Outdoors Tip of the Week. Fire starters are helpful to get a fire going in poor conditions or in case of emergency. One of the best is easy to make at home. Saturate cotton balls or makeup removal pads thoroughly with petroleum jelly. I carry these in a tightly sealed candy container. Each will burn for about three minutes. Well, let's get back to this week's episode. All right, well, I gotta say that was absolutely fantastic. So that was my first US uh, MRE and we loved everything about it. There was really no complaints there at all. Um, I think the only thing that I noticed is I did not mix up the chocolate drink powder enough and it was still kind of chunky. But otherwise, everything else was absolutely perfect, really good. Um, to be honest, probably one of the best rations I've ever had. So um, this US MRE really sets the bar for me. So um, once again though guys, I want to thank you so much for watching along on this uh, ration review. And again, Brian, I want to say thank you for sending breakfast. Uh, up our way so really appreciate that so much and thank you so much for your support uh, with my channel you've been with us a really long time and getting this little box and uh, getting able to try this was uh, really appreciated so thank you so much and uh, yeah to everybody else once again as always really appreciate your ongoing support you guys are great um, but if you are new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff and you enjoy outdoor adventure videos gear reviews, and other outdoor-related stuff, well, please hit that subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so that you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.